Hi friends, this is Vetriver. This tutorial I will teach multi search in a data grid view. Okay. First of all, I need to create one form. I have a one project, record project. So I need to create one form, Windows form. Here I'm, I need to change multi search. So name should be and not should be mine. I'm changing multi search multi search just adding the form I go to the program I need to change the default form is multi search and save the project and run the project I am checking is perfectly running or not <coughs> Yeah, it's perfectly running. Okay, now need I need to add one grid view data grid view. So go to the common controls. Here I'm finding the data section. I have the data grid view. Okay, so first of all I need to uh, increase the size of the my form. I need to add one data grid view. So. I am little bit expanding the data grid view. Okay. So I am adding the different three text boxes. One, two, three. So I am changing the text boxes size to little bit bigger. So go to the properties in property section i need to find the font section and go to the font i need to increase the font size uh, is by default it 8 i am increasing to 12 <coughs> so the text box size is automatically increased so i increase the text boxes width also now i am going to little bit tiny order to top <coughs> so this is I go into the label so in the label <coughs> I have the I am first time review my database go to view and give, click the solution explore in solution explore I have the database called record in record table I have the table called profile I go to the view sorry show the profile <coughs> so I have more than 500 records so name gender age mobile number and amount is there so I need to filter using name, mobile number and code. Okay. Code, name, mobile number. So I need to prepare search like likewise. So I am changing uh, Simon Densley to code. Add to name and age. Sorry, your mobile number. So I added three labels here and one button. One button. I am going to the font size it is bit higher to 12 <coughs> and text will be search and change the size of the button 
ok now double click the button here I am writing so by order I am uh, this is text box 1 and 2 as well as 3 so uh, totally I have 3 text boxes here I am writing if text box 1 dot text text box 1 dot text dot length equal to sorry length greater than 0 then likewise I am changing else if Sorry. And copy once again and paste it. So here I am changing <coughs> text box two and text box three. So I am changing little bit higher two because you are viewing now. So changing the font size little bit higher. One that is enough, I think. Okay. Now I am here. I am writing. Mm. And double click here. Here I am typing text box two dot text equal to clear text box three dot text equal to clear. So copy here. Text box one. I am using. I am <coughs> typing anything in text box one. That time text box two and text box three will be clear. In text box two, I am typing text box one and text box three will be clear. Likewise, and text box three is clicking. That time text box one and text box two will be clear. First, I am checking. So I am typing anything. Likewise, I am type anything here, so it automatically cleared. Okay, guys. Now we need to uh, move on next next step. So the here, text box one dot text length is uh, uh, greater than uh, zero. Then we have to. Uh, find I need to add a SQL server here so using system dot data dot SQL client ok now you have to here SQL data search system dot data here system dot SQL client both both we have uh, we have only then only you can uh, use this uh, codings so now I am declaring SQL data adapter. Yes, sorry. Now I am declaring SQL connection. C O N equal to new SQL connection. Here I am typing the SQL connection of the my um, database. So click the record database and go to the properties and properties. Here connection string is there. Just control A, put a control A and control C. Or else you can copy these things and paste into these sections. 
so i successfully created the connection string here now here i am declaring <coughs> uh, declaring uh, data table here data table dt equal to new data table so one more thing i am telling the using this is system dot data then only you can access the this data table data table using this uh, system dot data dot sql client then only you can access the sql connection sql data adapter sql reader and sql command uh, etc okay now i am declaring sql data adapter sda equal to new sql data adapter sda dot fill dt here i am typing the sql query here so and put the connection con connection here i am typing <coughs> select select star from from profile table table name profile 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 where this is first one is item code so code like single code double code plus text box 1 dot text plus single code and put the percentage sign and sorry double code single code press it so here double code then it will be come double code and single code comma <coughs> i think is that now just copy this line and paste into rest of two here i am changing the table name and text box likewise so this is code so i am changing the name why i am <coughs> choosing name name is default name so that time you have to use this angle bracket now it will uh, uh, it doesn't occur any errors at uh, mobile next mobile here text box 3 <coughs> text box 3 text box 3 now i'm save the project and click run name i'm should or a now i click search so one more thing i missed so i am putting the data table successfully now uh, data grid sorry data grid view one dot data source source equal to dt now i'm saying the project and run the program <coughs> here name or a now i click hit the search <coughs> depends upon or a it will be filtering or a j a search so it will filtering likewise now i am searching the mobile number 95 9500 click <coughs> search
prime product of 0, 8, 2, 4. Oh, one more thing I forget again, once again. This is 7, 4, 5. Mobile like text box 3, right? 3. Now I'm saving the project. Now I'm click again. 9, 5. And click search. Double zero. Click search. Likewise, I'm searching the records. Okay. Now, I need to add uh, code number U U one one double zero. Likewise, is searching and three. Okay. Likewise, is searching. This is uh, once I hit the button, it will be searching now I am by default I am typing now that time I need to search so uh, how to do like this so I need to change one more steps I will teach one more steps just copy this code sorry cut this code give one uh, create one functions void display this is our function in function I need to paste this code so here I am button click I call just this function display and run the I no need to run the project right now Now here I am type call display this time call this display function to all text box one and text box three and run the project. Now click to run here name or a j a <coughs> you typing likewise it will be searching in mobile number nine five double zero likewise is searching in code number u one one rule zero three likewise is searching okay <coughs> um, that's it <coughs> that's the way we are searching the multi searching these records so okay guys we will meet on next tutorial and best tutorial bye see you later